happening? What's going on? No, you just go ahead and write them up. Yeah, it becomes a fertilizer. <laughs> but we bless. This is how we change things. We bless. It changes you and changes situations. Because I like it. I am called. This is my calling to bless and to inherit the blessing. Amen? Amen. So we stand from another decision. Shall we all stand up and pray? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that your goodness to us, Lord God, permeates our lives. It's available, Lord. And I thank you, Lord God, for the revelation, Lord Jesus. That there are places that will sap away the miracles in our lives. And you're saying, do not go back there. Do not go back to the village. Do not go back to the village. Because there's unbelief. And then you're telling us, do not walk the same way. And do not even think the same thoughts the way you think. Because you are supposed to be leavened by the kingdom. Father, forgive us for fearing man and failing to take charge over ourselves or our actions. That we blame somebody else, Lord God, for our negative behavior. Well, in fact, it is my negative behavior. Yes, Lord God, we're precious on our sides and that we can say it cost me to say this, cost me to behave like this, but it's still me who behaved, Lord God. Father, right now, we renounce, Lord God, the yeast of Herod, which is the fear of man and the inability to stand up on our decision. We also renounce, Lord God, the yeast of the Pharisees, which do not believe that God's powerful power and the miraculous power is available even now. Lord Jesus, demonstrate, Lord God, your healing. Even today, Lord God, for us, come, Lord God. Remember that knee pain, Lord God, a headache. Somebody here has been diagnosed with, with uh, a gallstone. It's not hidden from God. He, he's touching you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that we are called to bless. Lord, it's so easy to complain and to add to the negative. But you have changed our language. Amen. We have learned a new language. It's a language of blessing. You have given us a new eye, a pair of eyes, Lord God. That when, whenever we see the problem... We look for solutions. We do not magnify, but we look for answers. And we are the answers because we are called to be a blessing. Father, forgive us in the times when we have been complaining, when we should have been adding, but we became, Lord God, the person to blame because we have come into the picture without the solution. Father, I thank you that you have given us wisdom, understanding, and revelations, and knowledge. So that whatever situation comes our way, Lord God, we can deal with them and we are the answer to the problem. We have resolved, Lord God, to stand firm. After we met you, Lord God, two weeks ago, we're not going back. Amen. Like you promised, there is more to God. To those who have been given more, much more will be added. Father, we thank you that you place us in that position to receive more from you. Help us think the way you want us to think, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the good word today. I am called to be a blessing. It doesn't matter where my stature is in society. They need me. I am a blessing. It doesn't matter where my position is at work. They need me. I am a blessing. It doesn't matter if my family is faltering. They need me. I'm a blessing. It doesn't matter in the community if it's not working. I am needed and God is looking for me because I am a blessing. I'm a blessing in this country, in the United States, in this state, New Jersey. I'm a blessing at work, at school, at my relationships. I'm a blessing everywhere because I have been called to be a blessing. And I am to inherit a blessing every time I exercise to bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Help us to change our minds over that said, so that we might walk, Lord God, in a newness of mind, carrying on blessing everywhere. I pray now for every relationship and family here today in Jesus' name. Lord God, that the love of the Lord will bind them together, Lord God. There will be understanding. There will be forgiveness. There will be wisdom. 
We come against the spirit that causes rift in Jesus' name. I pray for every business right now. I bless your business in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know, some of you are probably having a hard time right now looking at your finances. Here, guess what? Today, your finances is blessed. Because I am called to bless and I'm blessing you in Jesus' name. And go ahead and bless your finances as well. In the name of Jesus, be blessed in your finances. And in the name of Jesus, I bless your relationships in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, there will be restoration to that. And I bless your health. Because I am called to bless. And I bless your relationship. And you are called to bless. I bless your health in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. So pain, right now, those who are having pain in their foot, in their leg, in Jesus' name, be gone. Headaches, leave right now in Jesus' name. Somebody is scheduled for surgery. I pray healing for you in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Some will say that you are weak in your thinking. That, you know, like, hindi ka matalino. But we refuse that. In Jesus' name, we bless you with wisdom and intelligence right now. In Jesus' name. Right? And for those who do not know what to do, you lack, you lack vision, you don't know where to go. I bless you with foresight and vision. You would know where to go and what to do. And whatever you touch will prosper in Jesus' name. Because God said, I should bless, and we shall bless you. Thank you, Lord. Bless and do not curse, because it works. And every one of you be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, that we can do this, Lord God, in this situation, in this country, in this time, in this moment. Father, I thank you that you brought us today to hear this, Lord Jesus Christ, because we have been called to bless. We have a Father whose joy is not complete over us until we exercise our claim over you. Father, you have defined yourself as the provider, the protector, the giver. And your joy is that we might walk in your prosperity. Jesus said, ask whatever you wish so that your joy may be full. And in Jesus' name, I bless that desire that you have, that wish, may it happen so that your joy may be full. It was God's design that your joy may be full. He's a good father after all. Thank you, Lord, for today, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for the answers to our prayers. We thank you, Lord God, for the people who came and visited the first time, Lord God, and for those who came back the second time. We bless, Lord God, our ministry in Jesus' name. Father, even as we go home, we take the blessings of peace and joy and prosperity with us. Let there be a tangible manifestation of this, Lord God, in our homes. That the peace will just permeate, Lord God, every corner of our house. That our co-workers would notice that we have met the Lord. Lord Jesus, that our finances and our health, Lord God, would reflect that we have encountered God, the powerful God. We thank you. I come against depression and sadness and hopelessness in Jesus' name. You are not part of the covenant of God the Father with us. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Let there be hope. Let there be visions of, of, of greatness in the Lord. Be upon you in Jesus' name. We pray for our youth that they will always walk in fear and in the power of the Lord, that there will be a big fire in Jesus' name that will burn and burn and people will see the goodness of God. And we bless this church that continued signs and wonders will prosper. Always, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for those who are out there in their vacation. We pray to keep them safe. And for those who will be going for vacation as well, let them enjoy as they enjoy your prosperity. We thank you, Lord. Father, we'll be breaking up. We're going for our lunch, Lord God. We pray for the food. We thank you, Lord God, that we can have fellowship after this and have, Lord God, testimonies and, and wonderful banter, Lord Jesus. Bless our conversation and bless our hearts as we receive them. Thank you, Lord God, for those who have been generous, Lord God. Remember them. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless you all. Amen. Praise God.